Now let us see some of the individual plastics. First one is polyvinyl chloride. This polyvinyl chloride is abbreviated as PVC. It is a chlorine containing polymer. It is prepared by the polymerization of vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride. This is on polymerization in presence of peroxide initiator like hydrogen peroxide or benzoyl peroxide at 50 degrees Celsius. Here we are taking water emulsion. There are so many techniques of polymerization. This is an emulsion polymerization and the initiator we are using here is benzoyl peroxide and we are getting polymer polyvinyl chloride PVC. So this is an addition polymer, the double bond opens and we are getting PVC polyvinyl chloride. So this polyvinyl chloride actually it is prepared from acetylene by treating this with hydrogen chloride in presence of metal chloride catalyst at about 60 degrees Celsius. So this vinyl chloride is prepared from acetylene by treating it with hydrogen chloride. Vinyl chloride is obtained. That vinyl chloride water emulsion is taken which is polymerized with benzyl peroxide as an initiator at 50 degrees Celsius. We are getting this beautiful polymer PVC polyvinyl chloride. So this polymer is colorless, odorless, transparent. So it is colorless, odorless, transparent and thereby this is used to prepare so many articles of our choice. Uh, PVC pipe, PVC sheets and in laboratory we are using uh, the working tables are uh, covered with PVC sheets. But this polymer is having a disadvantage when it is exposed with light for a longer time it decomposes to eliminate HCl which is that is hydrogen chloride that is just depositing on the surface of the article and thereby when you are using this PVC to make some article, we are adding some photo stabilizers to avoid this decomposition. And this is widely used to prepare. So, uses pipes, sheets, even some of the cabinets of instruments are made out of this, that is our PVC. So the next polymer is again chlorine containing polymer. See this halogen containing polymers are playing important role in engineering plastic. The second halogen containing polymer is Teflon. So this is very interesting polymer. Teflon poly tetra fluoroethylene. It is having an abbreviation poly tetra fluoroethylene PTFE. It is widely known as Teflon. It is a fluorine containing polymer. So it is obtained by the polymerization of tetra fluoroethylene. The structure is similar to our ethylene. Ethylene is having four hydrogen atoms. In the place of four hydrogen atoms, we have four fluorine atoms. As we have taken water emulsion mixer for the preparation of PVC, here also we are taking water emulsion mixer of tetrafluoroethylene. And this on polymerization with benzoyl peroxide as an initiator. See, this benzoyl peroxide is a widely used free radical initiator. Most of the polymerizations will be using benzyl peroxide and giving you this fluorine containing polymer. It is white in color 
and this polymer is very tough unlike other uh, conventional polymers and it is flexible it is having an interesting property the softening temperature for any polymer the softening temperature is important it is not necessary polymers should have always low softening temperature or high softening temperature according to our application we can choose the polymer having low softening temperature or high softening temperature this teflon is a uh, is used for high temperature applications and thereby its softening temperature is greater than 350 degree celsius so only when it is heated above 350 it is getting softened till then it will not undergo any softening and next one it is having low coefficient of friction that is abrasive resistance it possesses by may, making use of this material even you can make a hole or thread or you can get beautiful designs just by carving the material as we are doing with wood and it is the second important thing with this polymer is it is chemical resistant even when you put this teflon into corn sulfuric acid or corn nitric acid it is unaffected it is heat resistant pressure resistant chemical resistant and even uh, but of course it is uh, little affected by hot alkalis and hot fluorine if with all other chemicals it remains intact it is having excellent thermal stability uses of teflon so this teflon is having very high thermal stability and it is having very high softening temperature more than 350 degree celsius so it is a very good engineering plastic it is used for making electrical uh, insulating material for uh, electrical motors and since it is chemical resistant it is used to make chemical pipes and pumps used to pump acids we can and interestingly is used to store hydrofluoric acid this hydrofluoric acid is having an interesting phenomena this hydrofluoric acid cannot be stored in glass bottles all we know because this hf will react with the glasses and thereby to store this hf we can use teflon containers and it is used to make non stick kitchen wares because of its very high thermal resistant and slippery nature it is used to make non stick kitchen wares and gaskets and other light weight insulating materials are made out of this so the interesting polymer this teflon is so next let us move to polycarbonate so here so far we have seen two halogen containing polymer so this is next one is polycarbonate abbreviated as pc so this polycarbonate is obtained by the polymerization of diphenyl carbonate diphenyl carbonate polymerized with bisphenol a and it is transparent and it is fire resistant now let us see the uses of polycarbonate polycarbonate is used for making helmets and transparent windows since it is having very high mechanical strength it is used for making some protective shields like that we are having good at applications with polycarbonate next let us move to polyethylene terephthalate that is abbreviated as pet pet it is a polyester pet polyethylene terephthalate or is called as terylene or decaron so this is an interesting and important polyester pet poly ethylene terephthalate terylene and are is called as decaron it is obtained through a through the condensation polymerization of terephthalic acid 1,4 benzene dicarboxylic acid this is terephthalic acid polymerized with ethylene glycol it is a diol polyethylene terephthalate it is obtained by the polymerization of terephthalic acid with ethylene glycol through condensation polymerization and we are getting pet so this is the ester linkage so it is a polyester this polymer is highly transparent properties it is a transparent polyester 
it is having film forming ability any polymeric material which is having the ability to form film it can be used for uh, and there it is used in textiles when you are moving to the application side uses it is used in textiles and it is used to make jars and it is used to make sheets even x-ray sheets are made up of this one so this polyester since it is transparent it is used to make good lot of other materials as well in virgin form or it is that is in 100% or by reinforcing with some other fiber material it is used so the next polymer nylon is coming under polyamide category we have just now seen pet it is coming under polyester where this is polyamide there are so many nylons we have nylon 66 nylon 6 nylon 11 like that we can go on adding and there is an interesting feature with the name of this nylon ny stands for new york and the LON stands for London. At the time of the synthesis of the first polyamide, nylon 66, the polymer nylon, the polymer was synthesized in two places simultaneously to honor those places. NY from New York and LON for, from London is taken here. First, let us see the preparation of nylon 66. So, this 66 indicates number of carbon atoms present with each monomer. To prepare nylon, we need a diamine that is hexamethylene diamine. Hexamethylene diamine, it carries six carbon atoms. So, one six hexamethylene diamine plus adipic acid. Adipic acid again having six carbon atoms. Six carbon atoms inclusive of the COH carbon. So, we have six carbon atoms. Again, this is a condensation polymerization and giving you nylon 66. And let us see the preparation of nylon 6. So, here we have only one number that means we have, we are not taking any dicarboxylic acid or diamine. We are taking only one compound that is called caprolactam. It is a ring opening polymerization. This is called caprolactam. So, this caprolactam is having 6 carbon atom. This on heating, it undergoes a ring opening polymerization. So, when you take this is a, this is a condensation polymerization and we have seen so many addition polymerization reactions where this is ring opening polymerization giving you this is nylon 6 or otherwise called as polycaprolactam. Third one is nylon 11. Again, here we are not taking two different um, monomers we are not taking. We are taking only one monomer. One side we have acid group and the other side we have amino group. So, the acid and amino group both are present with the same monomer. Omega it has 11 carbon atom. If you have 10 carbon atom, we used to call it as deca 11 unideca from the decanoic acid. And decanoic acid, this on polymerization, giving you the polymer. This is nylon 11. 11 carbon atom it possesses. 10 plus 11. This is so these are the three polyamides, nylon 6, 6, nylon 6 and nylon 11. Among these, the most important one is nylon 6, 6. It is widely used. It is a translucent polymer. It is having film forming ability. And it has very high mechanical strength. So it is a translucent polymer having very good ability to form films. It is having very high mechanical strength. It has very high abrasive resistance. And the 
abnormal strength of this nylon 6x is due to its hydrogen bonding. So when you are taking this amide structure, it has the NHCO group. So this NH is forming hydrogen bonding with adjacent polymer chain, which is imparting strength to the polymer, and thereby it is used to make ropes, and it is used to because of this. Let let me go to the uses. So when you go to the uses, it is used for making garments, ropes, and textile. Uh, textile, uh, it is well used in textiles as well. Polyurethane is abrid as PU. It is otherwise called as Perlon 4. This polyurethane is having the moiety NHCOO. There is a slight difference when we compare this with amide. Amides are having NHCO. Here we have an oxygen extra. And this oxygen is playing an important role in the prop in the property of polyurethane. So amides are having very high mechanical strength, they are very stiff. But when you are going to polyurethane, because of this flexible oxygen, it, that oxygen is giving flexibility to polyurethane and that is deciding the property of polyurethane to greater extent. So the polyurethane perlon 4 is synthesized by taking hexamethylene isocyanate NCO. Actually, it's a diisocyanate. We want to prepare for the preparation of any polyurethane. There are variety of polyurethanes. To prepare a polyurethane, we need a diol and diisocyanate. NCO cyanate, not cyanide, cyanate. Actually, here we are taking 1,4 butane dial, which is, it is polymerized with 1,6 hexamethylene diisocyanate. When polymerized with 1,4 butane dial, we are getting the polyurethane. So, this is our polyurethane moiety. So this is an important polyurethane, Perlon 4. So this polyurethane is having excellent flexibility as I mentioned earlier because of this oxygen, extra oxygen we have on the polymer backbone. It is giving flexibility to the polymer chain and it is having less toughness when compared with other polyamides. And it is, it is having very interesting properties. When you are taking other polymers, you can make either hardest or softest. But with this polyurethane, we can make both hardest and softest. Both we can make with the same polymer because of the processing difference. So the one important application is used to prepare cushion and uh, automobile seats are made out of this polyurethane. But the Interesting, the other one is that car pumper, Marthi car pumper is made up of this polyurethane material. So hardest and softest, both you can make with the same polymer, that is the beauty of this polyurethane.